Okay. Ooh. Cute. Jeez, girl. Ooh. I'm gonna stop now. Thanks to Clinique for sponsoring this video. Too early? Too soon? This is the holiday merch from Good To Be. Is it not so cute? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy day. Finally feeling a bit better, ready to sit down and put makeup on for the first time in a while. It's been a journey. I always feel like a little kid when I put my hair back like that, but it's so helpful to get the hair out of your face. So I have been out and down for the count because I was fighting a terrible infection. I got admitted at the hospital. I'm tired, but I'm feeling a lot better. So thank you guys for all the well wishes. Today I'm gonna be filming a chit chat get ready with me, featuring my like everyday makeup look because I haven't worn makeup in a while because I've been sick. So I wanna do something kind of simple, but mostly featuring some new products. So I'm just gonna do like an everyday neutral, but like simple yet glam vibe, pretty much like my usual feels but the biggest thing for me is I like my skin to look really flawless only good thing about being sick is you know you can't wear makeup so like your skin gets to breathe I just showered for the first time I feel like a new person finally got the fever gone I'm just feeling better feeling a lot better so excited excited to film so as you guys know I'm a huge fan of Clinique uh, I used to work at Mac in the mall years ago and Clinique was the counter next to us I loved going over there. I loved getting shade matched. Um, I loved the skincare. I'd always take home samples. <laughs> we all did. And I'm just a huge, huge fan of Clinique. They were like my OGs back in the day. <clears throat> and I still really love their products. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. It's so surreal to be able to work with brands that I've loved for so long. Um, it's like all thanks to you guys. So thank you for always supporting and watching and um, being there. So this is just, it's always really cool. Like it never, the feeling never fades of being like, oh my God, I can't believe I get to work with this brand that I've loved for so long. It's so awesome. So for my skin today, I'm gonna be using the Even Better Makeup with SPF 15. But now when you guys go to a Clinique counter or you get your shade, when you get matched, they have a collection of custom fit, complexion enhancing lip colors for you, which is so cool. Like it enhances your skin complexion and they give you lipsticks that go with you um, and your skin tone, your shade. So they have this really cool like new system. I'm just gonna like start doing my makeup. It's called Shade Match Science and it uses an algorithm that maps your skin tone and it finds your foundation shade and three custom fit lip shades for you. And they have 56 shades so they've got a really nice size of nice size a nice selection of shades uh, which is super important so my shade here is in WN 16 buff so I got the lip shades that go with this customized for me so for your even better lip shades you're gonna get three different matches a naked shade a casual shade and a glam shade so I love that there are options and different occasions so now that my skin is primed I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on my foundation I really love this. It's super lightweight, has a really natural, pretty finish. One reason I've loved Clinique for so long is because like it actually takes care of your skin. So uh, in the formula is like good for your skin goodies and ingredients. It's not like full of bad stuff because I've, I've spent way too much time fixing my skin. I'm not gonna like <laughs> let anything just ruin it all willy-nilly putting bad stuff on my skin, you know? Like the coverage is so pretty, it looks like your skin. It's not like you're just slapping on concrete, unless you like to slap on concrete, girl. Sometimes I like to too. But this is just so beautiful and natural. Oh, I love Clinique, I do, I love Clinique so much. So I'm gonna link all this down below if you guys wanna like get shade matched and find your lipsticks and oh, I just love it. Like, I literally feel like I'm putting like a, mo a light, light moisturizer on my skin right now. Like my skin can breathe. See, it just has that natural look. I love it. So I do my lips last, so you guys will have to wait to see my even better lip shade selects that I was given with my foundation shade. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of my face here. Um, I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer. I'm using the shade 15. So this is just, like I said, a light, natural glam. Does anyone say beat anymore? Like a nice natural beat? Like, do people say that anymore? I never really did, but I feel like I never hear 
anyone say it at all anymore. I spy my merch in the back, that cozy pillow. We also have podcast merch out now. Guys, thank you so much for the love on the podcast. My mom and I love doing it. Like we love the new setup. We love being visual. Um, our quality is so much better. Like we have just been putting so much time into that. So I'm so happy that you guys like it. It's longer now. We're taking voice memos to give you guys advice rather than just you guys sending in emails. It's so much more personal and fun. Uh, we do have a YouTube channel. It's linked down below if you guys want to subscribe and like watch us visually. But you can listen to the podcast, the Fearless podcast on like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud. So glad you guys are liking it. Like the positive feedback has been so just amazing. I have to wipe my hands between each step because I don't like the feeling of foundation on my hands. So I am just going to set my forehead. I'm using the Wet n Wild um, translucent powder. I'm using that to bake and set my face. But I like to set my forehead and then throw in my brows. So lately, I haven't done my brows in a while. So it always feels, I don't know if anyone else like this. When I haven't done my brows in a while, I royally suck. Like it's so hard to do brows after a while. So I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself here. I'm using the Fenty Brow MVP and I'm just gonna do the tail and maybe throw in like some brow gel. Taking it slow, taking it slow. I am not good at doing makeup after I don't wear it for a while. Yep, like I just did like a full line above my eyebrow. I'm like, okay, jeez girl. Ugh. I'm gonna stop now. All right, let's just throw on a little Glossier boy brow. Oh my God, so in a video, I'm gonna have to do this again. I tried to do that soap. I'm gonna clean these up because they're a little messy. Uh, I tried to do that soap brow thing where, <laughs> you know, you take soap and you like brush your brow hairs up so they look like really full and kind of wild, like, like model brows. <laughs> Oh, wow, I wish I had recorded it. I was trying it just for fun when I was sick because you know, you get bored just sitting around the house trying to rest. And you guys, oh my God, it looked so crazy. I should have recorded it anyway, but I'd really like to get that down. Like I'd like to be better at it because in theory, I like the way they look. I think it's a cool natural look. Oh, that was a bad carve out. <laughs> Well, they are not they're not even related they're not sisters they're not they're definitely not twins that's for damn sure but they're not sisters either they might be third cousins twice removed or oh, are you guys gonna subscribe to disney plus tv yara and i already subscribed to apple plus apple tv or whatever it is um we started watching that good morning show uh since i've been sick and like just resting a lot so we needed something to watch because he was taking good care and that show is really good Steve Carell um, Jennifer Aniston Reese Witherspoon my fave she's like one of my favorite actresses just setting my skin now wiping away my baking it's kind of stressing me out though that there's so many streaming services now because it's like where do we stop how many streaming services do I have to have? Where's the office going? Cause wherever that's going, I'm going. <laughs> I'm finally getting Yar into the office cause he had never seen it. Like, excuse me, sir. We're like halfway in on season two. Um, okay, let's throw on bronzer. Bronzer, we're gonna use the Kylie Toasty Bronzer. Been using this for a hot minute, really like it. I haven't like contour contoured in a really long time. I just like like a bronzy look, you know, glowy and kind of tan, even though I'm not. And I like this color bronzer a lot because it can it can be used to kind of contour. Like I use it to contour my nose. Like I don't take it too seriously. I just like, you know, go down my nose up here, and then I go in and like blend it out after with that brush we used to wipe away our baking. Like on an everyday glam, I, I like to have that nose contoured look. I feel like I just like the way my face looks better when my nose is contoured. And then I take 
from the Kylie bronzed palette. I just take this kind of milky white matte shade and I just pop that right here and then I blend it. And that's like my easy little mini nose contour. Like it's not that serious. Uh, so I have a new highlighter I got from Fenty that I'm gonna try out. Love Fenty Beauty highlighters. Ooh, my favorite one that I've been using forever. Actually, I have it in my makeup bag right now. The Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal is like literally almost gone. Like this one was my favorite shade and it's almost totally gone. Okay. All right, so let's see. This shade is called Metal Moon. I'm excited. Ooh, it looks like straight white. It's a really pretty iridescent glow. Definitely good for pale girls like me or guys or non-binaries. Whoever wants to wear makeup, wear makeup, honey. So I'm gonna throw on some blush. The Kylie Close to Perfect. I just love this blush. This is my go-to. This is like my everyday makeup for like the last couple months. Okay, hello. It's like just the perfect peachy pink. Like this is glam, but you can wear it out and about and like not feel weird about it. So let's try out this new highlighter. I'm gonna use my ColourPop F5 brush. Ooh. Ooh, it's definitely layerable. Which is nice because like if you wanna go more soft glam, you know, you can put just like a little bit on. And then if you wanna layer it, you can like beam to the gods. I'm gonna blend it, don't worry. <laughs> but it's pretty, it's really pretty. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Super gorge. Ooh. Cute. A little on that brow bone. Throw a little down the bridge. And on the tip of the nose. Cupid's bow. Ooh, I really like that highlight. So for eyes, I'm very simple uh, on my day to day. Like I really just love to take a bronzer, especially once I like, I put concealer on my lid, I set it with powder, then I'm just gonna go in and take this Kylie bronzer on this Lancome blending shadow brush. And I like to just sweep this in my crease. Like this is just so easy every day. It's not gonna take you long. Like on the day to day, I don't like to take a really long time to do an eye look. But lately I have gotten back into eyeliner. And this is gonna be fun since I haven't worn makeup in like a week. <laughs> But I'm gonna throw on some NYX liquid liner. Oh god, why am I doing this? Like, this is a mistake. This is a mistake! Alright, I'm coming in strong. When I was sick, I was watching old Vlogmas videos and I wore eyeliner like every day. I'm like, okay. You used to be tougher. Oh, that was pretty good! That was pretty good. I have a lot of foundation on my lashes right now, but it's pretty good. Alright, we're almost there. Oh my god, am I about to do this? Ha! <laughs> oh! This one's definitely better, but you know what? We're gonna take that win. We're gonna take that W. Alright, I'm gonna throw on some mascara off camera. Then I'm gonna come back and reveal to you my magical, even better lip shades. So I've actually been really into the non-lash look lately. On the day-to-day, -day, and just kind of saving lashes for slightly more special occasions. I mean, who am I kidding? Not really, but like lately I have been back into mascara because I feel like my lashes are doing pretty good because I've been using this serum from <sighs> Sephora, like clean at Sephora, so it doesn't hurt my eyes. I've tried so many lash serums and I can't use them, but this is one that I can use. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my lip shades that were custom matched for me. I'm gonna put all three on for you so you can see them. But also, if you guys want to try this out, you can go to your Clinique counter locally and get a free 10-day sample so you can like really see how you like the product. 
which I really that's what I love about Clinique that's what I loved about working near them before being able to like really test things out and make sure you like them before you commit to buying them I can't believe we've come like this far in technology where we can like have a special system that has like shade match science like that's so freaking cool so these lip shades there are 20 shades like I said they will customize three lip shades for you they're non-creasing they're non-flaking and they're actually very conditioning and moisturizing on the lips so this first shade here is called 04 subtle oh it feels so so good on the lips mm -hmm. uh uh-huh mm. <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry for my sound this just feels like heaven this is an alex color like tell me i'm wrong tell me it's not an alex color mm. it feels just like a chapstick oh i don't want to take this color off i should put this on the last uh, i love that and i do feel like it goes well with my skin tone let's try on the next one. so this shade is called tickled number 18 Ooh, this is such a gorgeous fall winter shade when your hair won't let you have a moment guys i can't i can't stop obsessing with this formula it's just like creamy heaven on your lips what do you guys think <laughs> I love this and like that's why I love on the day-to-day -day, like a winged liner just a mascara a really flawless base and then like a pop-in lipstick like ugh, can't go wrong and then this one's a bit more pinky it's called blush number seven I really like this one because it's super close to my natural lip color so like it naturally just looks really good on my skin tone so I love these three shades because one's more nude one is darker, one's more pink. They just, they're all so my style. And I feel like they all look really good and will be great like day to day. Or you could dress them up. They feel like heaven. Mm. So conditioned, so good. Uh, just keep it in your bag and reapply it. Feels like chapstick it's so conditioning. Anyway, I'm obsessed. I just think that system is really cool. When they wanted to work together on this, I was like, yes, I want to share this with you guys because that's dope. Like, they're going to find your perfect foundation shade, lipstick shades, like, it all ties in together, you know? Thanks again to Clinique for sponsoring this video. You guys can head over to your local Clinique counter and get your free 10-day sample. Try it out. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I love you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.